join Local 6 News at 6. There are just over 48 hours left for Oregonians to vote on whether to raise taxes on the wealthy and on businesses in the state. Welcome to Coin Local 6 at 6. I'm Ken Boddy. This weekend, there is a last minute push from both sides to influence voters for Tuesday's special election on measures 66 and 67. Coin Local 6 reporter Lisa Balick joins us from a ballot drop site in southeast Portland. And Lisa, what are they doing to convince voters one way or the other? Ken, it's from high tech to low tech, from hitting the web to walking door to door. They are doing everything they can on both sides to get the ballots in by 8 p.m. Tuesday night. As you can see, the ballot drop sites are set up to go. You can come by here. We're in actually southeast Belmont. But you may even get a call from a stranger tonight urging you to get that ballot in. We're here with the Measure 66 and 67 campaign. When Spanish language teacher Reed Scott Schwalbach knocks on a door, she's speaking from the heart. I have a, a, an amazing teacher in my department, who might be cut. She was pink slip. Excuse me. <laughs> um, You're upset about it. Absolutely. Truly. Yep. Um, so. So last year she was uh, pink slipped and she could lose her job this year too. The Centennial High teacher wants to keep teachers and classes. It becomes very personal because you, as a team, you develop relationships and you develop a working relationship. And we're able to do what we're, what we're able to do because we work together in our schools. And if you lose a member of your team, it really makes it, it makes it hard to do the job. If the measures win, they provide millions already budgeted for schools, healthcare, and police. That's why there's a big push from parents teachers and other state workers going door to door and calling voters who haven't yet turned in their ballots. Measure 66 raises taxes for people who make over $125,000. Measure 67 raises corporate taxes. Your income is down 50% the way mine is this year. That new tax is not an insignificant amount. And we're not talking about wealthy people with trust funds. We're talking about small business that it can make an absolutely critical difference. Those against the tax hikes are working just as hard in their get out the vote efforts in these final three days. Opponents say there are other ways government can find money. They can cut the budgets different ways than cutting school days or the best classes. Oregon voters usually reject tax hikes, but polls show this race is extremely close. That's why volunteers are working nonstop to round up every ballot. Have you turned in your ballot yet? Now, if you still have a ballot that you need to drop off, do it in the next couple of days, Monday and Tuesday, because it has to be at the county elections offices Tuesday night by 8 o'clock. There are local libraries, even McDonald's, where you can drop off the, the uh, ballots. If you want a full list of where you can drop a, uh, your ballot closest to you, go to coinlocal6.com. We have a link there that lists everything you need to know about where you can drop that ballot in the next couple of days. Here's a hint, too. Let's say you live in Tiger, let's say, or Beaverton, Sherwood, and you work in downtown Portland. You can come here and drop it off in Portland and it will get to your county in time to be counted. So anywhere you see a drop box, drop your ballot. Lisa Balick, Coin Local 6. Thank you, Lisa, and it is important to vote.